Hey guys, Mike McKinstry with Basquatch Hunter TV and today I'm gonna take you inside of my enclosed trailer and show you how I rig up all my gear and how I have it organized and secure for all of my trips. So come on inside. This trailer is seven foot tall, seven foot wide, 14 foot long um, with a two foot extension in the V-nose. So this is a 16 foot long trailer. It's seven foot wide, seven foot tall, tandem axle with electric brakes. So I chose this size because I wanna be able to fit kayaks side by side. I wanna be able to fit longer kayaks and have plenty of room for everything I need. Let's go over the kayaks that I have in this trailer. So I'm able to fit a variety of assortments of kayaks, um, numbers of kayaks, different angles, different lengths, different widths. Um, I set this trailer up to be able to hold anything I need it to hold. So the setup I have right now, I keep two kayaks on the top shelf on the trailer and I keep one kayak on the bottom shelf. Now the kayak on the bottom shelf is my 15 foot lure to feel free tandem. So it goes right on an angle into the middle. So the tip of the kayak is all the way to the nose of the trailer because this is the biggest kayak I'm ever gonna haul in here. Now on the top shelf, I have an 11 and a half feel free lure and I have a 12 and a half foot three waters big fish. Now these are both pretty wide kayaks, but as you can see, I have plenty of width and plenty of room. So I can leave these kayaks fully rigged up and they're safe and secure from the elements and from you know prying eyes or people who might be looking for some free gear. <laughs> on the right side of the trailer, I have some gear hanging on the wall. Um, what I did was I mounted some of the rail blazed G holds. So this cool little unit right here, what this allows me to do is put any piece of gear that I want on the wall and secure it with a rubber strap. And these are just star ports on the wall so I can take the G hold and mount the star port, lock the star port into place. I can take one of my nets, put it in like so and now it's locked in. I can drive cross country and that net is going nowhere. It is safe and secure on the wall and nice and organized. So. I have two of these G-holds side by side in star ports for um, two nets. Um, then I have hooks on the wall for my, my hand paddle and for one of my monopods that I use for filming. Um, so that's the, that's the easy wall of the trailer is star ports with G-holds. Um, they hold my nets, they hold shallow anchors, anything I need them to hold. And they're pretty universal because, because of them being star ports, I can pop these G-holds out and I can pop in a cup holder, I can pop in a rod holder, or any kind of device that I need to put a phone holder, anything I want. So that's why I like using star ports on my kayak and in my trailer. On the wall next to me, you'll see that I have my paddles securely held on the wall with two more sets of the rail blazed G-holds. I also have two fishing rod racks above my head. Now these, these racks can hold 10 fishing rods each. Right now, um, I'm hauling nine rods. Um, these are my main rods that I use when I'm out filming and fishing. But being on the ceiling, they're out of the way, they're safe and protected, nothing touches them, and they're very easily accessible from the front or the back of the trailer. The opposite wall of my trailer, I have a galvanized two-foot bin um, that I have on the wall. I have extra tackle trays in here. Um, I hang baits on here that I'm not using at the time, so if I cut off a uh, bait in my trailer, then I can easily take the hook and just hang it over the edge. Um, inside of here, I also have some extra tools, some lure wraps, some duct tape, some little stuff that I might need access to in the back of the trailer. And it's very accessible in this bin on the wall right there. And this is secured and anchored to the wall, so it's going nowhere. Also on this wall next to me, underneath the storage bin, I have two hooks on the wall that securely hold my two NRS Chinook PFDs. And I have my main one right here on the wall, and then I have my backup or the one my wife can use or any friends can use on the wall next to it. So they're easily accessible in the back of the trailer and they are safe and secure and go nowhere when I'm driving. So I try to keep things in the back of my trailer that I need access to as I'm pulling the kayaks out. So the things that I always need are my nets, um, my life jackets, and my kayaks. And of course, above my head, you see all my fishing rods. And of course, the trailer does have a side door. So, let me show you guys the side door and what I have in the front of the trailer. So the side access to this trailer is key to me accessing my gear. Um, as you can see right here, you can see the kayak on the bottom, you can see the nose of the two kayaks on the top, and this allows me access to the front of the kayaks and where I keep some of the tools and some of the storage items that I don't need quick access to all the time like I do in the back of the trailer, but they're still essential to what I do. 
So I'll take you guys inside of here. I have a spare tire in case it's a flat, obviously. I have a moving blanket um, and that is so I can keep things padded if I have anything fragile with me. Um, there is a, I have an extra feel free seat for the tandem. I have four or five camping chairs in case we need to lounge and relax. And then moving to the nose of the trailer, uh, there's two custom steel signs that I made right here and right here, um, just to show off my brand pride with feel free. Um, in the two front bins, I have extra rod socks and in this bin over here, I have extra bungee cords in that little bag. And if you look down here, there's a bag hanging there and a bag hanging there full of extra kayak parts, bungee cords, and uh, two Tupperware bins underneath the blanket that I'll show you as well. So under the moving blanket, there's two Tupperware bins that have extra tackle trays, have extra kayak parts, tools, um, pad eyes, rivets, marine goop, any tools you could possibly think of to fix your kayak are inside these bins right here. And as you can see by the label, extra ammo, there's extra tackle as well. So I have two bins full of extra parts, extra gear. Um, I have a toolbox full of all the essential tools I need to repair my trailer, my truck, my kayaks, everything. And looking back to the back of the trailer, you can see the Railblazer G holds that I use. The Railblazer G holds that I use right there to hold my paddle securely on the wall. There's the rod holders on the ceiling of the trailer. And again, the ample space for the two kayaks. Now, a lot of people have asked me why I use an enclosed trailer instead of all the options out there for open trailers or even just simply the, the bed of my pickup truck or the rack on top of my pickup truck. And my best explanation is I travel a lot. I go to a lot of places that I might not feel as comfortable. I might not trust the area. I might not have a safe spot to actually park an open trailer without losing some of my gear. Uh, so I do like the security and the, uh, the, the, the ability to be able to lock my trailer up and keep all my gear safe. That's the number one reason why I like the enclosed trailer. Um, the secondary and um, multiple reasons below that are the weather protection. If it starts raining, thunderstorming, snowing, I have an enclosed area where all my gear can stay safe, can stay dry, and it's not gonna be bothered by the wind or by any of the elements at all. Now, probably the biggest benefit of having the enclosed trailer is I can fit all of my kayaks, my gear, my fishing rods in one enclosed space. And that has been incredibly key to me traveling the country and been able to bring all my gear with me and have it organized and ready at my fingertips. So if you guys are looking to organize your enclosed trailer, think outside the box a little bit. A lot of people wouldn't think about using uh, the Railblazer G-Holds, for example. And those are mainly used for paddle mounts and they're mainly boat based, they're mainly marine based. Um, I use them in my garage, I use them in my trailer obviously, um, I use them all over the place. And I even have a table in my studio with a starport with a cup holder in it. So think outside the box and think inside the box for your enclosed trailer. And these Railblades of G-Holds are amazing. They securely hold and very easily and comfortably, safely hold my gear and help me keep it organized on the road. That's my enclosed trailer and how I set it up. Feel free to comment on this video below and let me know how you set up your trailer and what you use to transport your kayaks and your gear. So that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna kick you guys out of my trailer now. So get out.